All right. We are trying out some more equipment. Um, I'm not getting paid or endorsed by this company, but I've been using their products for many years, and, and that is these guys right here. Ultra. I also love the Hoka brand of shoes, but I wanted to make this quick video because I'm going to be heading out doing a multi-dayer, um, driving around and also maybe doing some backpacking, we'll see, uh, in Colorado. But uh, these are the Olympus 4s. And here we go. Right there. I bought these last year. And they, take a look at the shoe. I love these, by the way. But now, let's take a look at the Olympus 5s that came out a little while ago. <laughs> look at the difference in the heel. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what they're thinking, but wow, what a change in the in one iteration. I mean, look at that. This is the four, and these are the fives. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I've never. This is not a failure point. The thing that's I'm concerned about, and I haven't tried the fives yet. So I, I love the the cutout for the heel. Okay. Well, this one doesn't have a cutout. This one just is, I mean, it's just massive. Great looking shoe. It says uh, Olympus 5 right there. And uh, big fan of this shoe, folks. I'm telling you, if you want a, a, a near perfect shoe, this is it. Um, I love the wide toe box for the splaying of the toes. Can't beat it, and I mean it. So what I've done is I've re relaced them. I normally don't lace up here. Um, this is really not needed. Um, it has the it has the dirty girl stuff all set up. It's got the the, the gator, you know, the, the the trap in the back. And I, and I do have them. I do use them when I go out on trail. Um, love the color. I'm, I'm definitely into black. I love black shoes. But I just wanted to show you that there is this, this huge difference in uh, the heel part of the shoe. And, of course, I always change out. Again, I'm not, not endorsing any of these products. I just use them. I use the Super Feet Green. And as you can see, they're, they're green <laughs> in both shoes. Um, otherwise, you get this little, you get this little flimsy thing, and, and it does work. I mean, it's not a problem, but uh, I mean, come on, there's no support here at all. So, change those out. So, there you go Olympus, the Olympus 4. Right here, in the Olympus 5. Um, just a little added bonus, I am working on a hack for the X-Mid Pro two-person. Dan Durston, way to go, buddy. Here's my beloved duplex. Uh, love this tent. Nothing wrong with this tent, but um, there is something I've noticed, though, But be, from using both the Duplex and the, and the, and the X-Mid. Uh, the the X-Mid's a bigger tent. It's, it's true. The, the inside bathtub is probably just like what Dan uh, Durston says. It's 20% bigger. Um, different critter. These are, these are two different critters. Um, uh, the dynamics of the forces on the... Uh, on the tent itself, as well as the uh, the poles, how you pitch it. So, pitching the the duplex in a tight spot is fairly easy. 
it's harder to do it in the X-Mid Pro because it's, it takes up a lot more room on where the vestibules are. So I'm working on a hack to where you can either sh shut down one side or, or the other vestibules and still pitch the tent. Um, so wish me luck. I've already done some preliminary stuff. Um, but it would require uh, a couple other guy lines coming off the tent. And some hookups to tension the the, this, the vestibule that you're not going to use so that you can uh, tension it correctly around the back side or the front side of the tent if you're not going to use that side. And that would allow the X-Mid Pro to be pitched in tighter spots, much like the duplex can. So wish me luck. I'm working on this hack. Um, I'm taking both tent out tents out this week. We're going down to southern Colorado. And I'm going to might, might play around with both of them. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting my stuff ready. Um, my bucket of food. I got a bunch of new food I want to try out. Heather's Choice. Then you have this Nomad Nutrition. And of course, Ready Wise. Uh, Alpine Fair. And then there's peak fuel I got a bunch of stuff in here Bushka's kitchen I don't know if you've tried any of these I've tried most all of them but yeah okay I just want to give you a quick update um, again if you're not if you're not familiar with the uh, the Olympus series of trail runners check them out I highly recommend them bye for now